Hi, and welcome to House Smarts. I'm Lou Manfredini. Well, let me tell you, today we have a show that splits itself right down the middle. First, we're gonna show you some great information that you can use in the practical aspects of maintaining your home. Then, in the second half, we're gonna take you to an absolutely heavenly renovation that I guarantee will inspire you and have you shouting hallelujah. You'll see what I mean in just a little bit. But first, let's take a closer look at a place you only visit when everything suddenly goes black. Your breaker box. Okay, this is not the sexiest thing in your house, but I'll argue that it's one of the most important things in your home. It's your breaker box. It's there to distribute power throughout your home to keep you safe. And it's important to understand how it works and why you have it in your home. Come with me. This is the heart and soul of the electrical system inside your home. This particular box is very well labeled, which is the sign of a professional installation. Every one of these circuits is marked for the specific items that it runs. There'll be different numbers on there, 15, 20. These, when they're put together, are called double pole breakers, so they're actually running something much larger. This happens to be the AC. When one of these gets tripped, a lot of times people come in there and they look and go, well, I don't know what, it doesn't look like anything's tripped. Now, if I turn that breaker off, you can see these are all on, this is off. But many times when a breaker is tripped, it's only halfway. It goes right like this in the middle. And so it's hard to tell. You typically want to push on it, make sure that it's on. And then this one that's halfway, you'll say, oh, that's not on. But you want to turn it all the way off, then back on to put the power back where it needs to go. Very nicely done on this breaker box. It doesn't take much to impress me. All right, let's go outside because I want to introduce you to a professional electrician. Jack Arnold and his wife run their own company, Arnold Electric Services. He's going to meet us outside to show us where the electricity comes into the home. You guys as electricians a lot of times have to upgrade someone's service. Uh, talk about what's involved in that and, and why you would need to upgrade a service. The backbone of the, the electrical system is the service and the panel together. Some of the things that you want to take into consideration when you're figuring out what to do for a new service would be square footage of the home, different appliance loads like washers and dryers and air conditioning units and can lights are a factor in the in the load calculation for the house and then maybe if you have a vehicle charging station that's it's all stuff that needs to be taken into consideration for sizing your service properly all right i got tons of questions for you let's go inside and talk about okay that, right? sounds good Talk a little bit about the anatomy of, of this box. So this panel is a little bit different. You know, nine times out of 10, your panel is backed up to your meter fitting within like five feet. So most panels will have a main breaker in here. And this house does have a main breaker, but it's just located in a different area because this house is located, you know, 10 or 15 feet away from the meter. So you would, in a traditional uh, panel, have that 200 amp breaker that you could turn off and then all those breakers below would be dead. Correct. You also have a GFCI breaker right there. What's the purpose of that breaker? It acts like the GFCIs around the kitchen and water, and a GFCI is a ground fault circuit interrupter, and it basically senses voltage difference between the hot and the neutral. You also have some breakers look a little different on that left-hand side, which are called arc fault, and the whole idea there is, is if you were vacuuming and you had the vacuum on and you pulled it out and it sparked, Yes. That would sense it and kill the breaker. Yes, that spark you see is the arc, and that's what the breakers are sensing, and it'll actually sense like even little arcs behind a wall. All right, now, this particular panel is uh, very well labeled. Yes, it is. A lot is. of people have panels that aren't well labeled, mm -hmm. and they don't know where anything is. You brought in a tool here. What is this thing? This is a circuit tracer. All right, so let's do this. But By the way, don't be sticking your hand in there like he's doing because he's a, he's a licensed professional. <laughs> Put that cover on and then we'll go try this thing out. Sounds great. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm ready. All right, let's do this, Lou. You would plug one end into an outlet and then the other end you would run down the breakers to calibrate it or get it acclimated to this system. And the second time you go down, you'd get like a tone on one of these breakers, and that would essentially be the breaker that controls the outlet. That's it. Okay, excellent. All right, turn it back on. Oh. 
You're gonna need this tool. You probably need one of these too, so you can find your way out of the dark room. So that's just a very brief look at your electrical panel and how it works. It is a very important safety device. And remember, if you're unsure about doing any electrical work in your home, then you need to hire a professional.